Welcome to the water chemistry station. So at this station we we have the capability to do all kinds of tests on water chemistry, uh, including turbidity, pH, dissolved oxygen, and salinity. So salinity is the measurement of how salty the water is. So why would that be important? For what kind of animals live in the water? Yeah, because some fish like fresh water, some like salt water. So let's let's measure salinity first. Hey you, uh, can you fill, oh well, okay, here's the, our salinity meter here. Um, can you guys see the numbers along there? It's a 0, 10, 14, 16, yeah. all those. So those are the parts per thousand salt in the in the water. So we'll fill this up with water and this little arrow is going to point to uh, somewhere along the outside uh, and it's going to tell us how many parts per thousand salt. If it points up here to 35, it means that the water is as salty as the ocean. If it stays down here at zero, it means this water is as fresh as the water that comes out of your tap. So do you guys have any predictions as to uh, where, it's, where the arrow is going to point when we fill it up with Hudson River water? Zero. Ten. Zero? Ten? Why do you say ten? Uh, someone told me that the water here is brackish. Okay, okay. Do uh, you guys know what brackish means? No. Okay. Salty and fresh. Oh, let's test it and find out. Can you dunk that under? Alright, try to hold it real steady. What do we get? Uh, 12. Do you guys all see that? Yeah, 12. There are about 12 parts per thousand salt. So imagine yourself in your bedroom and there's 1,000 uh, Skittles. Um, and 12 of those are red Skittles, and the rest of them are blue. That's 12 parts per thousand red Skittles. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not a really big number. Okay, so what does that say about our prediction? Uh, Parks is pretty close. Parks is pretty close. So yeah, so the water isn't totally fresh here. It's also not totally salty. Um, it's a mixture of, of the two. It's brackish water, right? Uh, have you guys ever heard uh, of the river that flows both ways? The Hudson River. Yeah, that's this river right here. So why is the Hudson River called the river that flows both ways? It has tides. Okay. And so, because it has tides, you have the fresh water from the Adirondack Mountains coming down, but then you also have that ocean water flowing up from the sea during, flowing up from the ocean during high tide. So you get this mixing of fresh and salty water. Um, so yeah, so you find brackish water, which is that somewhat salty, somewhat fresh. All right, let's test the pH of the water. Do you guys know what pH is? No. Okay. pH is the measure of how acidic or basic something is. You guys, can you fill those up with Hudson River water for me? That's pretty clear. Alright. So, see that colored dot right there? See the colored dot? Uh huh. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop one of those samples in in front of the colored dot, and then we're going to take the other one and we're actually going to dye it. So how about you add seven drops of that dye to the other two there. Okay, so now that we've dyed this, we're going to spin this wheel until the color of the two samples matches up. So can you spin that and, and uh, stop when they match up? Got it? Yeah. Flip it around, what does the number on the back say? 8.5. 8.5, all right. What that means is the pH of our Hudson River water is 8.5. So what are some acids? You guys um, need some acids? Stomach sulfuric acid. acid. Sulfuric Vinegar? acid, stomach acid. Maybe, maybe there's Hydrochloric one that you acid. had with breakfast this morning. Orange juice. Orange juice, yeah. So those are all things that are acidic. So here's our pH scale, it goes from 0 to 14. And up here from zero to six in the yellow, those are all acids. So acids are things like orange juice and vinegar and sulfuric acid somewhere up here. And then down here from eight to 14 in the blue, those are bases. So bases are things like bleach and ammonia and uh, Tums. 
Typically they're kind of slimy. It's kind of another extreme of the pH scale. And then right here in the middle, six to eight, uh, it's kind of a neutral range in the green. Uh, and so what did you say that we got for our pH? 8.5. 8.5, so fine, 8.5 on our pH scale. All right, uh, so. Sea water. Okay, great. And do you see the pH range where fish are, are um, happiest? Uh-huh, five to nine. Five to nine, right here, right. So, great. So as far as pH is concerned, the fish in, around here are in good shape. Uh, let's talk about something else about salinity. Um, so how many parts per thousand salt did we get? Do you guys remember? Twelve. Ten. Twelve. All right. So, so, so let's find twelve. On this chart, what we can do is we can find how much salt we have in the water and then we uh, just look over on the chart and see what kinds of fish can live in that salinity. So how about you guys find what kinds of fish live in 12 parts per thousand salt? Mm, white perch. White perch. Blue crab? And hog choker. Yeah! And hog choker. Oh, and those are just like the hog chokers and white perch that we caught earlier today. The life station. So as you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff you can tell about water by doing uh, some pretty simple experiments. And, and uh, the, those properties of water that we're testing will affect what kind of fish can live in there.